Hello and welcome to the Off Grid Mountain Homestead. We're going to do some more OptiVolt panel testing today, different shading scenarios as requested by commenters. So I shaded at top third in the last one. I'm going to do a little bit different this time. Flex solars are not going to be in play today, just the OptiVolt. I'll show you the cable and I'm going to go back on the Zendor to keep the results the same. Here's the lead off of the Zendor to the OptiVolt. You can see I just keep the Zendor in the shade today because I wasn't going through all that garbage with the box like I did in the last video where I couldn't see anything. I've got it sitting in the little hay barn. So I just found a, just got an old extension cord, made me some ends just for this test. So I know what we're working with right here and go straight to the Zendor. All right, this test is going to be a full power pull. Noonday sun, 50 degrees, light breeze. And you can see there's dirt. See all the filth? filth on there i didn't even wash it this time so we're going to see real world conditions it's been rained on a few times since the since i used it in the last test so it's got dirt and filth all over it so real world test this time so let's see what it's making full power pull on the zendor 92 93 watts full sun 50 degrees with dirt on it so better well 93 better than the better than the last test at a warmer temperature no heat soaking today that breeze is keeping it nice and cool all right next test a third of the panel shaded this direction now y'all grabbed about it being at the top so now we're shading down the side so let's go see what it makes now that third shaded i just showed you what's it making 59 watts that's performance better with the side shaded than the top pretty good all right the next test is two-thirds shaded so now let's see what it makes being shaded two thirds of the way out. Two thirds of the way shaded, still making 26 watts. That's awesome. All right, it's almost completely blocked now. It is over seven eighths the way blocked with cardboard. So let's see if it still makes any power with this amount of shading. If it does, I'll be surprised. Still making eight and nine watts, seven eighths of the way shaded. All right, you're still not convinced? Let me shade it a different way and see what happens. All right, let's try the whole top half shaded this time, see what that gets us. Whole top half shaded on the OptiVolt. 43, 42 watts. And for those of you that wanted to see the bottom third shaded, saying it would drop out, well, here's the test with a little bit more than the bottom third is about the bottom two thirds shaded. So let's see what it makes like this. That's the bottom the bottom two thirds uh, shaded, however, two thirds, whatever, half. So it's still making 43 watts with the bottom shaded. Your angry neighbor didn't like your green energy or your free energy, so you come by and taped a tree limb to your panel in the middle of the night, see if it still makes power like that. 86 watts, 89 watts, 91 watts with the tree limb on top of it. That's very impressive. You done made the whole neighborhood mad and they throwing all their junk on your solar panels or you ain't maintained them in two years and they've got a bunch of leaves and stuff on them. So let's see what it makes now. All the yard debris on top of the panel, still cooking out 49 watts, 50 watts. So it's tracking. Uh, yeah, that's, that's a real world example right there cause in autumn, your panels will get covered with leaves and stuff. So this bad boy still makes juice even with crud all over it. And this test right here was probably the most real world test there is. Um, you know, your chances of shading, you know, two thirds or seven eighths of the panel is very rare. But limbs from trees shading your panel on a daily basis or leaves falling on your panel and blocking off part of the cells and the modules, you know, that's that's a common occurrence when you're running uh, PV off grid, things like that. So, you know, that's that's probably the closest real world example right there in front of you with all the junk on top of the panel because that happens when a wind blows in the autumn and all the leaves hit you you wake up in the morning and that's what your panels look like sometimes so that's a prime example of you know the technology at work right there and as far as the previous video with this testing somebody asked about panel ages well the flex solars have been out for about a year um the optivolt roughly two months and for reference these panels made about 82 watts each so you know 164 165 with the set so you know basically no degradation from age and i've got some panels that's five and six years old that still make 99 percent of the power so uh you know there's that 
So that was just some more testing of the OptiVolt panel. Hope you enjoyed that. Hope it helped demonstrate more of how this panel works in different scenarios. Uh, it still makes power. All kinds of different shade variations. Any other testing, you know, let me know in the comments how you want to see it tested. And uh, yes, I'm going to show you how to use it uh, on to charge a 48 volt battery bank with the lower voltage panel. I'll show you how to do that in some upcoming videos. So if you don't like it, I'm sorry, but uh, yeah, it works. I like this panel and, uh, you know, appreciate y'all watching Off Grid Mountain Homestead. Hope you have a nice day. See y'all later.